the highest goal of life, Krishna. Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> after, after getting Krishna darshan, and then even more, you know, in the next couple of years after realizing my Ishta Devata, then I felt like, I felt like this is it. I mean, it, just, it doesn't get any better than this. This is like, this is so far out. This is so great. Uh, all these years of so much hard work, and finally I got the result. Ah, you know, there's just nothing like it. <laughs> Anyway, the next one is doubt. After Lord Brahma had stolen all of the calves, cows, and cowherd boys from Krishna, he was trying to get away. But all of a sudden he became doubtful about his stealing and began to watch on all sides with his eight eyes. Lord Brahma has four heads, and therefore he has eight eyes. This is an instance of ecstatic love in doubt caused by stealing. Is Krishna is watching. Can Krishna see me? Is he going to follow me? Is he going to punish me? Yeah. Similarly, just to please Krishna, Akrura stole the Shamantaka Mani, a stone which can produce unlimited quantities of gold. But later on, he repented his stealing. This is another instance of ecstatic love for Krishna in doubt caused by stealing. When the king of heaven, Indra, was causing torrents of rain to fall on the land of Braja, he was advised to surrender himself at the lotus feet of Krishna. At that time, Indra's face became very dark because of doubt. Like, uh oh, did I screw up? <laughs> Again, right? <laughs> Apprehension. When a person becomes disturbed in his heart by seeing lightning in the sky, by seeing a ferocious animal, or by hearing a tumultuous sound, his state of mind is called apprehensive. In such a state of apprehension, one tries to take shelter of something which promotes safety. There may be standing of the hairs on the body, trembling of the body, and sometimes committing mistakes. And sometimes the body may become stunned. In the Padyavali, there is the following statement. My dear friend, Krishna's residence in the demoniac circle at Matra, under the supremacy of the king's, uh, king of demons, Kangsa, is causing me much worry. This is one instance of apprehending some danger to Krishna in ecstatic love for him. It's because actually Vrindavan was considered part of the kingdom of Kangsa at that time. Uh, so technically, uh, Nanda Maharaj and all the residents of Vrindavan were his subjects. But Krishna was like, yeah, just send, a, send some more demons. Come on. You know, I'll take care of them. And he did. He killed all the demons that Kangsa sent to Vrindavan to uh, disturb him there. In the, oops, that's another one. When uh, Vrishasura appeared in Vrindavan as a bull, all of the gopis became very greatly affected with fear. Being perturbed in that way, they began to embrace the tamal trees. This is an instance of fear caused by a ferocious animal and of the search for shelter while remembering Krishna in ecstatic love. Upon hearing the jackals crying in the forest of Vrindavan, Mother Yashoda sometimes became very fearful about keeping Krishna under her vigilance, fearing that Krishna might be attacked by them. This is an instance of ecstatic love for Krishna in fear caused by a tumultuous sound. This kind of fear is a little different from being actually afraid. When one is afraid of something, he can still think of past and future. But when there is this kind of ecstatic apprehension, there is no scope for such thinking. That's almost closer to panic. Yeah? Because if a person loses the, the idea of past and future, that means their mind is very disturbed. Yeah? Fear is more like, hmm, you know, thinking about what, what they're calling fear here is more like thinking about what might happen 
oh, maybe in the future such and such will happen, cause me problems. But this apprehension is like, oh, there's danger right now. And so the person becomes focused on the moment. They don't think of past and future. Intense emotion. Emotion is caused by something very dear, by something very detestable, by fire, by strong wind, by strong rainfall, by some natural disturbance, by the sight of a big elephant, or by the sight of an enemy. When there is emotion caused by seeing something very dear, one can speak very swiftly and use kind words. When there is emotion caused by seeing something detestable, one cries very loudly. When there is emotion caused by seeing fire, one tries to flee. There may also be trembling of the body, closing of the eyes, and tears in the eyes. When one becomes emotional on account of a strong wind, he tries to run very swiftly and rubs his eyes. When one is emotional because of rainfall, one takes an umbrella and there is tension in his body. When there is emotion due to a sudden disturbance, one's face becomes discolored, one becomes struck with wonder, and there is trembling of the body. If there is emotion from seeing an elephant, one may jump and show various signs of fear, and sometimes one may keep looking behind him as he runs away as quickly as possible. When there is emotion due to the presence of an enemy, one looks for a fatal weapon and tries to escape. When Krishna returned from the forest of Vrindavan, Mother Yashoda was so emotional from seeing her son that milk began to flow from her breasts. This is an instance of emotion caused by seeing a dear object. In the 10th canto, 23rd chapter, verse 18 of Srimad Bhagavatam, Shukadev Goswami informs King Parikshit, My dear king, the wives of the Brahmanas were usually very much attached to the glorification of Krishna, and they were always anxious to get an opportunity to see him. Because of this, when they heard that Krishna was nearby, they became very anxious to see him and immediately left their homes. This is an instance of emotional activity caused by the presence of someone very dear. When Putana, the demoniac witch, was struck down and killed by Krishna, Mother Yashoda was struck with wonder and began to cry emotionally. Oh, what is this? What is this? Huh? Kyawa, kyawa. That's Bridgebasi language. Kyawa. What, what's this? Yeah, you hear people in, in Vrindavan, they say this. Kyawa. <laughs> what's going on? When she saw that her dear baby Krishna was playing on the chest of the dead demoniac woman, Mother Yashoda, at a loss of what to do, began to walk this way and that. This is an instance of being emotional on account of seeing something ghastly. When Krishna uprooted the two Arjuna trees and Yashoda heard the sound of the trees crashing down, she became overcome with emotion and simply stared upward being too bewildered to know what else to do. This is an instance of being emotional from hearing a tumultuous sound. When there was a forest fire in Vrindavan, all the cowherd men assembled together and desperately appealed to Krishna for protection. This is an instance of emotion caused by fire. The whirlwind demon known as Trinavarta once carried Krishna off the ground and blew him around along with some very big trees. At that time, Mother Yashoda could not see her son, and she was so disturbed that she began to walk this way and that. This is an instance of emotion caused by severe wind. In the 10th canto, 25th chapter, verse 11 of Srimad Bhagavatam, there is an instance of Indras causing severe torrents of rain at Vrindavan. All the cows and cowherd boys became so afflicted by the wind and cold that they all gathered together to take shelter under the lotus feet of Krishna. This is an instance of emotion caused by severe rainfall. 
there were severe torrents of hail when Krishna was staying in the forest of Vrindavan. And the elderly persons bade him, Krishna, don't you move now. Even persons who are stronger and older than you cannot move, and you are just a little boy. So please stay still. This is an instance of emotion caused by heavy hail. When Krishna was chastising Kaliya in the poisonous water of the Jamuna, Mother Yashoda began to speak emotionally. Oh, see how the earth appears to be trembling. There appears to be an earth tremor, and in the sky, tears are flying here and there. My dear son has entered into the poisonous water of the Jamuna. What shall I do now? This is an instance of emotion resulting from a natural disturbance. In the arena of 